I'm Sarah. And I'm Brian. And today we have three super cool upcycled planter projects to show you. The first one is going to be a concrete planter made of patio pavers. So here's what you're gonna need. Caulking gun. Construction adhesive for stone. This means that it's not going to freeze and crack. Clamps. If you got them. Otherwise you can use tape to hold it together while the glue sets. Five concrete pavers. One foot by one foot pavers. Soil, plants, pea gravel, and you'll want to use gloves because this construction adhesive will not come off your fingers. It's gonna totally ruin your manicure. Step one, dry fit your pavers. We're deciding to stagger the pieces. Meaning that you have an overlap on each side. They line up in a perfect square. That's going to go on the base, and then we flip the whole thing over. It'll give it a little bump up, like a little pedestal. It's called a kick in the design world. A kick, a yeah. design kick. I'm gonna run my bead more towards the inside of the planter because I don't want it to sandwich out the sides. Probably wear gloves for this DIY. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sandwich it together. So because this glue takes a good 24 hours to fully set, we want to make sure that we clamp it and don't touch it so that it fully cures. So when it comes to gluing the base on, a great tip here is you don't want to have glue all the way around the base because we want to allow drainage. One, two, three. Perfect. And now we have to sit here and wait 24 hours before we can plant anything. <sighs> but through the magic of television, you don't have to wait that long. <laughs> and our planter's done. Ding. <laughs> we've put two inches of pea gravel at the bottom, which is gonna help with drainage. For a super heavy duty planter that looks amazing. Next up, we're gonna show you how to make these zinc look tabletop planters. These things are so on trend. You can find them at a lot of high-end home stores. Here's what you're gonna need for this. Duct end caps and duct joints. Toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the toilet bowl cleaner is acidic. It will say on the label. Disposable paint brushes. A mask if you're not working in a well-ventilated area. Steel wool and a wire brush. And? Rubber gloves. Rubber gloves. High five. Sorry. <laughs> so the ductwork comes with a galvanized coating, and the galvanized coating ensures that it doesn't rust. By scuffing this up a little bit, it gives the acid something to grab to, so it speeds up the process. And you don't need to rub the finish right off. You just want to create scratch marks. Now it's time to start the patina process, which makes these galvanized steel pieces look like zinc. Using your acidic toilet bowl cleaner, liberally apply this. Already starting to see it work because it starts foaming up. And the longer you wait, the more patina you get. So we won't see the process work till about half an hour from now, and you can wash it off with just some clean water to stop the process. If it isn't as far as you want, you can reapply and just keep going. So here's what we're left with after we've washed our toilet bowl cleaner off. This one has been left for 30 minutes and then rinsed. This one has been left for two hours. And this one has been left for 24 hours. And if for some reason you've left it on longer than you want, just take your steel wool and buff out that rust. I honestly would pay about 40 bucks for this if I was to buy it at a store. I'll sell it to you. <laughs> and we have tons of toilet bowl cleaner to do a whole bunch more. <laughs> <laughs> or clean a lot of toilets. Yeah. And for our final trick. A wall planter using a pallet. Yes. So what you're going to need for this is a used pallet, mm -hmm. a piece of cardboard to cut out into a stencil, landscaping cloth, spray paint, and a staple gun. And then you're going to want to finish it off with some good quality earth and some kind of a creeping vine. This is called a creeping jenny. Creeping Brian. I think it's a hilarious name. And this is some some time, wild time. Wow, well, we're gonna have a wild time with you. We got ahead of you on this one and pre-sprayed a circle template. We've done this powder blue, and now we're just gonna do a hit of green to give it a bit more depth. Ooh. Cool, let That's your great. inner graffiti artist go wild. Okay, so we'll start by stapling our filter cloth to the pallet. This is gonna hold the earth in place so it doesn't fall out. We're basically upholstering the pallet, a lot like you would furniture. But not as precisely. Not, <laughs> not as precisely. <laughs> okay, so we've made a pocket for our plants. So we just need to get some good potting soil and fill in the gaps. 
Spray painting the front of this makes it look so cool. It, it's just gonna look better over time. No pun intended, since we <laughs> planted time. Three inexpensive DIY upcycle projects to plant your plants. And they're gonna make your backyard look so cool this season.